In this quick start video, I will show you how to route a figure. We've drawn a figure in RouteCAD, the letter B, and we would like to route it. Now, we will zoom to be able to see better. We do Control alt x to zoom twice and once more. Now, before we start routing, we know that the spindle, when it's cutting out material, we want to remove the, all the inner features first, and then we will route the outer feature. In this case, this material is a some type of a plastic, and it's, the machining is better. It gives a, a better finish when we do up milling. So to perform up milling on this uh, figure, what we will do is we will route the inner feature in a counter clock in a, in a clockwise way because the spindle is is turning clockwise so we'll route the inner feature in a clockwise way and the outer features we'll route the outer features in a counterclockwise way so let's start to start def defining the first uh, route we will do control control t now um, we get the warning message that tells us how we can show the route as we uh, we're routing the, this figure we click ok and it also tells us the direction of routing matters when machining objects generally for a clockwise turning spindle it is preferable to route outer feature counterclockwise and inner feature clockwise this is up meaning uh, it is this comment is true for certain materials but not for all and uh, basically uh, but in the, in the case of this particular material it is true that up meaning give a better finish so we will be performing up meaning click on ok now we will select segment because we want to route one component at a time we will start by routing this first line over here so we we'll, to route it all we have to do is to click on it and we can see the arrow going up which means that it uh, the routing start at this location and goes up also we have we have in uh, select display show route arrow so we can see how the routing will, will look like if we see if we click on show route we can see how thick the routing will be because the drill size is 0.31 centimeter which is one eighth of an inch it's a small drill and this size this distance here is one eighth of an inch or 0.31 centimeter and it's the first object to be routed because we kept the N4 on so we can see our writing what uh, effect we have on each object and also the depth of cut is 0.4 uh, centimeter the material itself is 0.3 so basically the drill will go through the material completely now we continue routing and we in this time we will also only show display show route so we can see exactly what we're routing as we're doing it and we click on the next object so the green arrow means that this is the first object to be routed and any other object that are routed become pink. Now when I click on it uh, with the middle mouse it becomes signed to tells me that I'm getting the end for about this object. Any red object or only constructions object we call the construction element and they have not been routed yet. So I click on the next object to continue now I got that message because my mouse wasn't close enough to the element that I want to route. What I can do to better select my element, I can press F3 just so that I know when my mouse turns to a cross, I'm within range of selection. And I click on it and I click one more and I've performed the first element. So this is the first object to be routed, second, third, fourth and fifth object now if i do view show 
display show route whatever is uh, gray is what is left from the cutting process and what is in uh, what is in um, bold color is the diameter of the drill going through the material so this is what's going to be left from routing this element so I will again I will say I will click on display show route arrow so I can see what I'm doing exactly now I did a con I did a clockwise um, I went in a clockwise way for the first uh, element in this letter I'm trying to route and I will do the same thing for the second inner element over here I click again so I can see these uh, lines become dashed what it means is that it uh, the, 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 the routing process goes around this element inside and then it basically moves to the next element so the cutting tool will move up so that's why this line is dashed the cutting tool will move up uh, uh, up out of the material and then go back in the material at that location it starts here and goes over here now i continue routing all the inner features and i'm done so i've done the the two inner features so this feature will basically disconnect if i do view show route uh, these two features will disconnect from the main material now all of this is material that is left over so it will hold it will be it will stay there these two inner feature will disconnect because i route them completely so this will be what is left out now we will be routing the outer section and we will be doing it in a counterclockwise way this time so again i will do show display show route arrow and i will start from the top so you can see that the dash line is going up because after doing this uh, this inner feature um, the cutting tool moves up in the air and then goes to that location and then goes back in the material and moves down so now i continue and this is it now i've completely routed this uh, letter uh, sometimes uh, if the material is very thin like this plastic we leave what we call attachment point where we don't go as deep in the material on maybe two sides of this letter and then we can cut them out uh, in this case in this example I just went through it but sometimes it's useful to leave attachment point because when you do it the way I, I did it sometimes the cutting tool can not all the time but damage your part because there's nothing attaching it to the main material after it's done so what i'm going to do i'm going to do view um, show route and what is this is the letter b that we've done uh, we have to focus on the gray area the gray area is what is left the gray area is what we will get out of this uh, machining process whatever is red has been cut out and whatever is gray is the letter that will be that will be left after we machine this piece